This is Identity Theft. I'm Data Scorpio. Um, we're going to make focaccia today because um, for my first YouTube video. Uh, because my friend said that I should make it. Let's get this bread. Everybody lost their minds with the pandemic. Um, there was no more flour in regular bags, so I had to get it in Tupperware. Sustainable. Um, okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is I had to I had to go take notes about one. There's my topics of discussion, but then also oh, that was loud. Um, I had to measure out how much because the recipe says 500 grams of flour. If you have uh, um, like a baking weight uh, or no, scale, the word is scale. Um, if you have a baking scale, you can just use that. Um, but it's about 2.1 cups of flour, so I'm just gonna do like like a heaping second cup of flour to kind of make up for that. Um, the other thing that I would say is good to know when you're making bread, especially yeasted bread, is that um, metal kills yeast. So don't put the yeast and the water in a uh, in a metal bowl. So I'm doing it in a plastic bowl. We also only have one plastic bowl in this house, so I will be washing it a lot. Um, yeah, so there we go. I've measured out my flour it's in this bowl. So this is um, two teaspoons of salt. So what you do is like in the bowl, um, you're gonna put your salt on one side and your yeast on the other so that they don't kill you, so that the salt doesn't kill the yeast. If you put the yeast right directly on top of the salt or vice versa, it's gonna kill the yeast. Like focaccia is a good bread to make if you're like new to cooking and baking because it doesn't have to rise super high. It's not like a challah or a, like a, a sourdough where you want it to rise. Um, it's a little bit more flat, so it should be okay. Um, what else? Uh, okay, so now I'm going to put in my yeast, which you, if you're buying a sachet, you only need one of those if it's seven grams. I don't. I have this tub of yeast because, again, during the pandemic, everybody bought all the yeast and I couldn't make bread. So I had to go buy in bulk. Um, and this recipe says seven grams of yeast. That's about two and a quarter of teaspoons if you're looking at bulk yeast. Um, I asked my friends what I should talk about, and I now have a list. Um, so we're gonna try and like move through that. One of the things that I definitely wanted to talk about is books. So I'm reading currently um, A Gentleman in Moscow. I'm gonna be honest with you, I had to take a break because um, it's about this dude who's in, how, he's under house arrest in uh, Russia during the Russian Revolution, and but he's like, former aristocracy and is like in a really fancy hotel and I don't really have a lot of sympathy for that right now or the complaints that he has about not having the right cognac because um we're in a pandemic so all right um next so it says that you need 300 milliliters of lukewarm water and then you put 225 of it in there at first I'm just gonna measure 225 first and then just do it that way that's about right um, the other thing that's bad is like I don't really measure things when I cook, so apologies. Oh, I need a spoon. Right, so back to this book. Um, it's good. I just I can't I can't bring myself to read all of it. The next one that I'm reading is um, America is not the heart. So I'm looking forward to finishing that or starting it. Whatever. Um, I just finished graduate school, so like I didn't used to get to read for fun. And now I can, but I don't actually do it because I just sit on Twitter all day or like go on YouTube. Oh, and I'm going to have to put oil in here. Okay, whatever. So we're going to put water in first. Um, so that's 225 milliliters of water. I believe it is 30 milliliters of oil. Um, focaccia is kind of like an oily, oily bread anyway, but um, it's not like challah where challah tastes like, well, I make it with butter, but a lot of people don't. Um, so it's going to be kind of like that. Then the other thing that I was <laughs> um, told people wanted me to talk about was um, movies 
And I'm going to be honest with you, I don't have the attention span for movies these days. I am usually watching um, YouTube videos or just television of other kinds. So I watched all of Ozark with my roommate, um, which was a lot. That got dark. Um, and mostly I was recruited to watch it because I speak Spanish and there are parts of it where the Spanish doesn't have subtitles and my roommate needed me to help. So I did that. Um, so I finished Ozark. Really, really good, but I feel like it's just like Arrested Development, but like not funny. So I mix it all together. It looks like this. It's very damp and squishy, which is exactly what you want it to look like. So now we get to do the fun part, which is kneading. I personally really enjoy kneading dough because it makes me feel accomplished and happy. Um, so my roommate and I rewatched Holes the other day because um, we have a movie night on Sundays where we, as roommates, um, try to forget the horrors of the world and order takeout and then um, watch movies on Disney Plus. So we've been through a lot of the animated ones uh, and then the other night we watched Holes. So that was great. Um, I have to put more water in this? Jesus. Um, okay, so then you're gonna put the last uh, 25 milliliters of water in. Oh, it's gross. I am using my hands because I don't have a KitchenAid mixer because I'm poor. So I'm just mixing that around. And honestly, that sounds disgusting. I'm so sorry, everyone. Um, but so we'll do that. I don't have any other things to say about movies, honestly. I saw par like, Parasites now out on like Canadian streaming services, so like you can watch that, which is cool. Um, music I've been listening to recently. The Run the Jewels album. Very good. Very, very good. I very much recommend if you are still in school and you have to write a paper that you fucking hate, um, listen to Run the Jewels because makes you feel better about stuff. Okay, um, so this is going to be very, very sticky, which is fine. What you're gonna do is just put a shitload of flour down on your counter and then sprinkle a shitload on top of the dough. And then you're gonna start working it together. A moment. So I messed up because I'm used to just putting flour down and kneading. Um, what we're actually going to do is put oil down because then the dough won't stick to it and um, this is why everybody proofreads. Um, I don't. If you follow me on Twitter, you'll know that I absolutely do not proofread any tweets. <laughs> Which means I constantly am deleting them because I keep finding typos and then uh, someone will say, wait, oh, bring it back. And I'll have to say, well, I'm sorry, I have to go back and make sure that there's not a typo in it. As I said, focaccia is like an easy bread, so it's okay to like super, super, duper, duper mess up on it. Um, I'm gonna use olive oil, put a little bit down on the surface. This is gonna be a nightmare to clean up, it's fine. Okay, so now we've lightly oiled the surface and we're having a redo. So we're gonna dump the oil, the dough out onto it. Um, personally, I think that this needs more flour in it because it looks super wet and it's kind of freaking me out. So I'm gonna put a little bit more flour on it. And then the recipe said to grease your hands. Oh my god, I have flour everywhere. <laughs> um, so we're gonna knead dough. I find kneading dough super relaxing. Um, I think it's because I'm Eastern European and like all we do is knead dough. It's like mostly pierogies. But um, while I do this, we can have a conversation. Um, I was also told to discuss, um, well, I, I like K-pop, so um, we're gonna talk about K-pop. Um, I have been listening to a lot of um, 80s recently because it's good. I don't know what to tell you all. It's good. Listen to it. Um, this is to need for about 10 minutes, so we're just gonna go for it. Um, the other thing, oh, there's flour all over my pants. Um, Billy said I had to talk about my conspiracy theory about Yuto not having nipples, but then I feel like that's a lot to just kind of burst into for the first YouTube video. All I can tell you is that somehow this boy wears shirts that should always, always, always have his nips out, and they just don't, and I don't understand it. Basically, like, 
yeah, I don't, I don't know if that's like really something we can get into. What else can I talk about with music? Um, I don't know. I listen, I have the musical taste of like somebody from 2006. So I've also listened, like, usually when I cook, I listen to, um, Simon and Garfunkel because it reminds me of my parents or like uh, I love it because my mom used to play that all the time. The other thing that I usually listen to when I cook is um, NPR because I'm from the East Coast and that's what we do. Um, and I've listened to it my entire life. So like I do the impression where it's like, from NPR News in Washington, I'm Corva Coleman. The Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped by 10% today. That type of thing. Um, but I listen to that a lot when I cook. What else can I talk about? Um, well, I know that, because today's Saturday. Um, I don't know when I'm going to upload this, but it'll happen. Um, so, like, virtual KCON is happening today. And I saw very little of it, if I'm honest with you, because I didn't get the Zoom stream. I just didn't have it together. Um, so, all I know is that... Monster X killed it, and that Luna also killed it. Um, so yeah, there's that. I'm also very excited for Seventeen to come back. I'm really pumped about that because um, that's my my goodest boys. Um, what else can I talk about? I'm just gonna leave Doe for a second here. Hi, it's editing Charlotte. I'm in the future now. Um, there was a part that got cut off. Uh, this part, which is that after you knead for a little while and the dough is like sticky but elastic and not totally shapeless, it should form a form a ball. Um, you're going to take it and put it into a plastic bowl that you have oiled with olive oil. Um, you can use any oil. I like to use olive oil because it adds like a nice flavor to this type of thing. But if you're doing a more neutral flavored bread like challah or something else, you usually use like vegetable oil. Um, so then what you're going to do is take that and put it somewhere where there isn't a draft. So, and I don't put it in direct sunlight because I'm, I worry about it, like, cooking the yeast while it's in there. And then you cover that with a damp dish towel for about, I did two and a half, three hours. So you can do whatever, but the, the size of the dough ball should double. And then you go back and you go into the next part. It's bread time. It has risen. Look at it. Oh, beautiful. I wish I could put smell into video, because it smells really good. And we're back. So I noticed in um, the last round that I say um a lot. So I'm going to try for this time around, just because it makes editing easier, um, to not say it as much. Uh, what we're going to do now is chop sun-dried tomatoes, because I like sun-dried tomatoes on focaccia, and I'm going to have to put it on top of the bread once it's done. So um, I think I'm going to do probably like four or five of the sun-dried tomatoes. I'll probably chop those up. Um, just to put it on top of the bread and then we're going to actually get our hands back in the dough. I'm just chopping it into that shape. So you might be able to hear my roommate doing her Mandarin lesson. Maybe we'll all learn something. Um, so I'm just chopping the sundry tomato into like slivers. Any other hot and spicy takes that I can share while I chop this? No. Okay. I have chopped tomatoes. Now what is going to happen is we're going to, it's not kneading the dough the second time around. Um, it's just stretching. So I'll actually show what that looks like in a second. Um, but first, before we do that, um, I'm going to put olive oil all over my baking tray because that's how you make sure that the dough doesn't stick to the baking tray. I have these like big baking trays that I got. Um, a couple months ago when our other one withered and died. Um, so they're ridged and that's good for this because it actually like if the dough rises more than we actually thought it was going to it kind of contains itself within it. So we're back with our flour in our 
it looks like miso soup containers. I really can't get over that. Um, and we're gonna lightly flour the surface of the counter. And then we're gonna go back over to the other counter and get the dough out again. And like lightly flour means that like you just want like a little little dusting across your counter. You don't want like clumps. Our beautiful dough baby. And so what we're gonna do is dump it out onto the counter and then using your arms and forearms just to stretch it out. And then I'll show you what that looks like in a second. What I usually do is I just like hold it up <laughs> like it's pizza dough and let it like gravity do its work. Um, you kind of want this to be in a big rectangle. So I know it looks like a shapeless mass right now, but it will look better, I promise. Uh, and then put it on, I put it on the baking tray. And now I'm just using my hands on the baking tray to stretch it out. It's not going to be even, which I know may frustrate some people, but for me, it works fine. Um, it's kind of like really thick, thick um, pizza dough. The other thing I'll say about this is that if it's not a perfect shape, it's not a big deal at all. Like, some parts of it are going to be thinner than others. Like, for me, personally, I like it when it's a little bit irregular. So what I'm doing now is just taking the bits of sundry tomatoes that I chopped up earlier, and I'm just sprinkling those around the dough and just kind of, like, gently tapping them in so that they aren't just sitting on the surface that they're a little bit um, incorporated. Not entirely, but like a little bit. Here's the baby. It's not perfectly shaped, but I'm okay with that. I'm at peace with that. Parents shouldn't expect perfection from their children. So now what happens is that rises for another half an hour, um, just until it looks puffy, and then goes in the oven for like literally 20 minutes I think. So in the meantime I'm gonna clean up my kitchen and brainstorm other stuff to talk to you people about. Okay it's bread time so it should have gotten puffy. Yep you can see it over there. Um, so now what we're gonna do is like drizzle it in olive oil and chili flakes and um like Sea salt, so it's gonna be yummy. All right, let's do this. I realized that a lot of what I do is like talk while I walk and stuff, and I, I can't really do that with this because you'll lose me and I'll have to redo it all over again. So, what we're gonna do now is drizzle a little bit of olive oil over the top. We're gonna press um, some more indents into it, into the top of the bread, just to like test things out. Um, what happened while the bread was rising? Nothing, I got really emotional, buddy, you've been photo shoot. Okay, next, I'm gonna put some chili flakes on it because I like spicy food. So, not a whole bunch, but some. Just on the top. And then, Himalayan rock salt. This is pink. I have it because I saw a GQ video with Rich Brian. He was like, yeah, I have pink salt. And I was like, I've seen that in the grocery store. I'm going to get pink salt. Celebrity endorsement works. Still haven't bought Monster yet, though. Because Monster makes my heart race and makes me feel like I'm going to die. So it's a no from me. There you go. There it is. That's going to go in the oven now for 20 minutes. And then we will check in, back in after. I had the oven going at 400 and uh, it was in there for about half an hour. I have a I have an oven that doesn't really get super super hot so it's not that like I, I had to leave it in for longer. Usually you only need to do it for about 25 minutes but if you tap on it it should sound hollow and that's how you know you're doing it right and that's good to go. So yeah Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, I don't know when I'll be back. It should be next week. I'll make something else. We'll figure it out. It'll be fine. Um, you can follow the this account on Instagram at g 
good needs well good underscore needs k-n-e-a-d-s the same way his channel is and thank you so much for watching bye